guys welcome to our channel it's me Teho. i hope that you're going to enjoy today's video so let's hop right in you're doing it with water paraffin oh paraffin mm. it's hot enough paraffin mm. watch it so you see So being attacked by fleas is a thing. Mm. And we think why the kings were, were spraying why they ate that deep. I had to open for them and then spray this whole room. I thought it only happens to so broilers. No, I think any chickens they don't want to be in, in a in enclosed area. Don't go spray it. Don't go spray it. Amon and our neighbor are sitting outside in the shade. It's quite a hot day, and they're completely oblivious to my intruding lens. I was in the house cleaning. Suddenly, he mentions his craving for beans, and he comes inside and looks at what we have. Most of them were actually quite eaten by weevils so <laughs> he's sorting through trying to find the good ones so that we could cook these beans a lot of them uh the ones that were in the house actually we had planted and so we didn't have much beans for bean stew the other day we were at in town and we saw these uh, seedlings being sold for red cabbage and we got them but it's extremely hot so basically you just wonder how many of them will make it because look at this look at this one already dead the ground is wet it was watered this morning So basically, <laughs> this is your surviving three, one, two, and three. Well, these two as well. These ones behind me, if they make it. And um, we bought about 11 of them. The garden is pretty basic. We've got our chamolia. We've got some spring onion. The temperatures are extremely bad, so <laughs> we actually try to stay in the house and instead of coming out. And as you can see, the green peppers, they, um, they get red while they're still quite small. Again, because of the heat. So yeah, all this was watered this morning. We stay inside as much as we can. <laughs> and the petty squash, this is the newest petty squash patch. And they have already started coming out. We harvested two big ones recently. You can see. This petty squash is from our new pet oopsie, from our new petty squash patch. And it's doing well. It's extremely hot. A lot of plants are really struggling, but um, the petty squash are growing. They're growing great. The, you can see the little plants over there. And guys, with this extreme heat, um, it hasn't been raining. So we last had rain a long time ago. I can't even remember when that was. And basically, 
we have a drought this year. I don't know if rain will come later on, but all the crop that people planted has basically died. Uh, it's dried up. We've been picking beans. As you know, we're picking beans from our yard where we keep a small garden that we keep watered with the water from next door. We've gone through that, we've enjoyed it. And recently, another patch of beans came from the main garden that we had planted, but everything else is lost. <laughs> um, the guavas are coming up. The other guava tree had really released some really nice big guavas uh, recently, but there were few. But the, gra the guavas are growing. It's like all of this. Yeah. It's like with the with the heat and the dryness, you just don't know <laughs> what to water and what to forget about. Hey guys, check out the guavas from our tree. And this is what it looks like in size. Blank of tuna. Number eight, eight. Why don't we charge us sixteen dollar? Hey. This is typically a cold day meal, <laughs> and we're just feeling like beans. I'm almost feeling like beans. I was feeling like a bean stew. <laughs> looking good yeah. what's missing is the soup is <laughs> my samba and one says what's missing is the nuts go clean a cabbage so she's a sarah and i eh eh let me see <laughs> check here there They actually make my skin crawl. This is where. Look at this. <laughs> they, are, they are specific about certain plants. Mm. They want a soft piece. Mm. Oh, check out this. Yeah. This is what the plague must have looked like. Exactly. Let see how many there are. Yeah, there are. Things have gotten pretty dry in our field. Whoop. Wow. So, that's our field. Things didn't grow, things have dried. has declared a, a drought yeah which means that the food in the shops will be expensive yeah mini meal is going to be expensive mm. because in Africa we live on grain that's pretty much what a lot of indigenous people actually live on and we depend on the rain and basically when rain doesn't come we don't we don't have water to you can't um water big fields even with a borehole <laughs> if you water big fields with a borehole you have to be like a commercial farm having multiple boreholes and and uh, basically running a big project that's how it works even that, the water table goes down. yes even with that the water table goes down so it's going to be an interesting year um Lack of food always affects prices, but I'm wondering where, where did we even grow a crop in where the country? Do we have any place where, where you can say a crop came out? So like if there is no, no food like this, what, what, what happens? Uh, well, we're supposed to have reserves, but we don't have reserves. So, so yeah, it's going to be hectic. But, I mean, 
there is a lot of other grains that don't depend on us like rice we never planted our own rice of course and stuff like that so you must probably to be wiser now to stock up on that rice <laughs> yeah yeah i guess to just work out in terms of how much rice we eat a year yeah and extra like it won't be much for us if you think about it eat like a 2kg a month yeah but if that's all you're eating you're probably gonna have to eat more more so it's the same so if you say 2kg a month and then what you do you you buy 12 and then you might need to buy 24 kg yeah but but weevils <laughs> how long can it keep so you can keep it in a drum so we need to go buy a drum like a blue drum like that right? Uh huh. And buy rice and stuff like that, and put them in that drum and seal it, so that we don't get inside. Yeah. But you always have to think about the next person who can't, who can't afford to do that. Yeah. It's going to be. Yeah, it's an interesting year. The thing is, is that if you live in the city, you don't know what the big deal is. But people in rural areas, uh, which a lot of Africans still live in the rural areas. People in rural areas, that's... But even in the city, they are going to see by the price of millimil going up. Yeah. And the millimil starting being on sources because we are all going for the same source. Unlike before, half the people in this area won't be buying millimil because they guys are their own. Yeah, yeah. This field belongs to our neighbor who plants in front of our house. So we are at the back of the field. You can actually see her crop from in front of the yard. She normally really does well here. Mm. She works hard, works in the rain, in the heat. <laughs> yes. Well, you have applied, right? <laughs> so many houses have come up. So close to the dam. Yeah. Used Amon had decided he wanted to take a different route to the dam, and this is it. Yeah, but I just wanted to, to see, see the houses. The new development, like this house was not there when we came. <sighs> yes, I know. That one there, and a lot of... A lot of oh, there's a house in particular, we know the people that, that, that are in that house. So they were staying in a tiny little cottage. And now it's, there's a full house. It's an elderly couple, they built it so beautifully. And uh, we're just amazed. <laughs> but it shows me how very much we stay in the house. Mm -hmm. because, <laughs> because they're so close. So close and yet so far. The whole structure went up. The last time we saw it, they were, were they digging foundation or they had poured a foundation? They poured the footing. They had poured the foundation and built something small on the side. Yeah. So apparently, wow. apparently we live in the house, especially me. This is not good. What's not good? The dam. Oh, uh, check out the dam is completely dry. This house, this house here. It's overlooking at the dam. I don't know if you are watching for the first time, but whenever the dam gets full, it's really pretty out here. So they position their house perfectly. <laughs> but um, it's that's how dry it is. There's completely zero water in the dam. This this dry ground here, this valley, is the actual dam. We just got surprised by a fence all all the way going there. It used to not be there. Yeah, yeah, there used to be a road. We'll pass by the fence. That whole area, that empty space, is the dam. Um, so does that mean the guys who make bricks, their business has also stopped? No, they're making. They're, they're still making. Yeah. I see this pile here. Yes, I saw this pile. Because they have to go get water that side. Oh yes, that's what I was. That's where I was going. I thought, where where does the water? This pile here is someone making bricks basically 
and normally they rely on the water of the dam to make the bricks. So you're saying they have to get the water from far? From that side, there's still a little bit of water in the dam there. Okay. Mm. So there was a road here, it's been closed by the fence, so we have to find a new way to get home. <laughs> I'm also here, people. Uh -huh. I need my own personal cameraman. Because... Um, you need a drone. I'm never in the video, so I wonder why. <laughs> Uh, Amon's horn is clear. It's so clear it stinks. Uh oh. Ah, uh ah, -uh, come back here. I see free roaming big dogs and I'm like, oh oh. Oh oh. Moral of the story here don't leave your yard with your dogs. There are some, there's three big dogs ahead of us. Oh. It looks like we've lost this fight. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. The idea is not about leaving your, dog, your house, but is it, I guess maybe we live with a leash. Live um, with a leash. They enjoy taking a walk, I think they enjoy. Of course they do. Yeah, but when you get home though, they feel so tired. <laughs> and so are we. Yeah. I thought I wanted to ask you a while. The pro, uh-huh. I think you're closer to bike and stuff. Are you serious? Uh, now he tells me he should have brought his wallet because he was going to buy me a drink. Unless you want us to go. No, we can't go without money. I've got a dollar. You've got a dollar? <laughs> what? He's got a dollar. <laughs> You're so kind. Thank you. Appreciate it. This is the bean stew. It's really quite hot. It's in terms of temperature. <laughs> But it's really very delicious. Hope that you enjoyed today's video. Until next time. Bye.